Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Casa OS on Ubuntu server. In this process, I will show you how to install Ubuntu server on VirtualBox. If you don't need to do that because you already have an Ubuntu server, just skip to the next chapter where we will install Casa OS. And Casa OS, basically just a service. It's not actually an operating system the way that Umbrella is, for example. If you're not familiar with that, I have a link to a video where I show you how to install Umbrel on VirtualBox. Casa OS is actually more of like a service um, that is running within your Ubuntu server that's going to provide you like a front end admin interface with like a one click app store installation where you can manage applications. Okay, so let's just do a search for Ubuntu download and go to Git Ubuntu. I don't want to do the desktop version this time. I want to do the server version. So let's try this. And then we're just going to hit the download button. Okay, we got that downloaded and I'm going to copy this out of my downloads folder and let's put this somewhere where I can kind of keep track of it a little better. So we've got the live server 24. I'm going to open up VirtualBox and hit new. And I'm going to call this Ubuntu server. And we're going to give this an ISO image, what we just downloaded. So live server. Okay, hit next. I'm going to go ahead and give myself a username and password and the host name. Ubuntu server is good. I'm going to throw in a VB just so that I really know that this is a uh, virtual box um, server. It's not my actual Ubuntu server that I have. So hit next, give it some memory because I have plenty to deal with and I'll give it a couple CPUs. Don't believe that we'll need to enable EFI. Virtual disk, it's great because it's not pre-allocated, it's dynamically allocated. And then let's hit finish. So it's gonna go ahead and power it up and see what happens. All right, try or install Ubuntu server. So we wanna just go ahead and install it. Okay, I'm gonna choose English, I need to the new installer. I'm just gonna say continue without updating. Let's say continue without updating and hit done. We'll just use the default Ubuntu server. Hit done, hit done. We don't need a proxy, hit done, done. Let's select our hard disk, done. Okay, I think that's probably fine. We're gonna hit done. Basically formatting the virtual hard disk and installing Ubuntu server on it. Okay, I'm gonna give it my name, give it a password. And done. Yep. So this is kind of nice that it just automatically will install OpenSSH server. So that's kind of cool. It allows you to just off the bat um, install things from the Snap store. I'm not going to do this with anything though. So let's just get it done. And now it is installing Ubuntu server. Okay, it says installation complete. So instead of rebooting, I'm just going to shut it down so that I can make sure the boot order is correct in VirtualBox. So let's shut this down and then go to settings, going to look at the boot order in the system. So hard disk first, that's what I wanna see. And then I'm also just gonna change the network to the bridge adapter in case I want to be able to access the server from my computer. So let's start that up. Login. Okay, so I am in my server. Okay, to install Casa OS, let's do a Google search for Casa OS. Go to the website. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the uh, GitHub page as well, because it might have more clear instructions here. It's kind of nice that I have a live demo too. So if you've never used Casa OS before, check out the live demo. So, right, this is kind of what it's gonna look like. So you can see that we can either use the curl command or the wgit command, um, we can try either one. We'll go ahead and do the curl because that's what it also says right here. So it's cool, it's already kind of installing some of the dependencies that it's gonna to wanna to use. It looks like it's installing Samba, which is you know implementation of SMB. It's uh, installing Sif's utils, it's installing Docker for us. It's a pretty cool setup. Okay, so now it says uh, it's 
Casa OS has been installed and it gives us the IP address to navigate to, to visit. So it's basically running on the uh, you know, port 80 of the OS of Ubuntu. So we're just basically navigating to the IP address. So let's see what that is and we'll just navigate right to it. I'm going to go to 192.168.4.206. And here we go. I've got the command line of my Ubuntu server and I have this Casa OS front end dashboard which is pretty cool. So we're gonna create an account. I'm gonna use the same username and password as my Ubuntu user. You can use a different one. Okay, and now we have Cost OS. So I'm going to stop using the command line for a second and just kind of look at our front end here and just check this out. We got App Store, so check this out. Do a search for image, boom. What I've seen is this uh, Big Bear Casa OS developer seems to be pretty good for keeping things up to date. What else do I have off the bat? Files, pretty cool. Location, documents, so this is like my user folder. Like, let's just create a file in here and see if it shows up. We're gonna go CD data list. You see we have app data, documents, downloads, gallery, media. And similar to Umbrel, like when you use the app store to download an, an app kind of like image, it is going to install all of those mounted drives inside of that app data uh, folder. It'll create a folder within app data with the same name as the app that you are installing generally. And that's how you kind of know, you know, where things are actually located when you install them. But yeah, this is how you can use Casa OS on your server to be kind of the front end visual server. Now, if you want to be able to access this dashboard from anywhere, like on your phone while you're on the go, the way I would suggest to do it is to use Tailscale. You could try doing a Cloudflare tunnel with a URL but what I've seen is that going to different paths doesn't work very well. Like if you're gonna load up image like on here, it's going to access the port that it's running on. So you could create a separate URL for each app that you do with Cloudflare, or you could use just the tail scale app and then you could navigate node on your tail net. If you wanna be able to access your Costa OS dashboard or any app, from the external web, you know, outside of your home network. There's really two ways, two great ways to do this. One, and it's it's pretty dang easy, it's so cool. You could just use the Cloud Flared app on here. It is pretty seamless to set up a Cloudflare tunnel. This lets you create your own URL. So for me, you know, it could be casos.thomaswildtech.com dot com and that will take me right here and you can set up you know uh, zero trust so that only my email address can get through the cloudflare zero trust that's definitely how you would want to do that and then for each app that, that you have running on here your next cloud your image you could set up your own url to go to those apps too so it could be image dot thomas and uh, that's a great way to do it the other way that you would want to do it if you're really going to like be navigating through the dashboard to, to get to your apps and whatnot, I would probably just download Tailscale on here. If you don't have a Tailscale account, free to create, and then you can start adding your devices as nodes to your tail net. And then wherever you go, just you can put in your tail scale node IP address into the URL of your app, of your image mobile app, or your or the browser on your phone, or, or you know, wherever you're accessing your Casa OS from, and uh, you'll just get right here, uh, as long as both devices are connected on your telnet. So very easy to do. If you have any questions about installing Casa OS on Ubuntu server, let me know in the comments or any questions in regards to anything uh, related to this video. I'd be happy to help. If you found the video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.